Hillbilly Elegy is a Netflix original film based on a true story starring Amy Adams and an almost unrecognizable Glenn Close. And Owen Astalis. As soon as I saw the trailer for this film and read who directed it, by the way, was Ron Howard, I was instantly looking forward to watching this film. Ron Howard is definitely a hit and miss director, but I enjoy most of his films that dwell on character development, such as A Beautiful Mind and Cinderella Man. Two incredible films I make an attempt to watch every couple of years. Set in a small hillbilly town in Kentucky in 1997, it's about a young teenage boy who played by Owen Astas, who is raised by a very dysfunctional mother, Amy Adams. This is one of those films the star, or in this case, stars, are really transformed physically. It looks like Amy Adams, if not a fat suit, put on at least 50 pounds for the role of Bear Burley Vance. And if you're looking for it, you can see the jawline in Glenn Close's facial structure under all that prosthetics. She plays a very old hillbilly who JD calls Mamaw. This family, most notably the mother, is full of drama. There are several moments where JD is put in a dangerous or downright disturbing situation, and I'm sure most of people can relate to some extent, especially anyone raised in the 90s. A lot of these moments JD doesn't necessarily sit back and stand for. He questions most of these scenarios or neglects them, but he gets mixed up, he gets mixed signals of what might be right or wrong when it comes to his mother. From his memoir, who encourages JD to keep giving her, his mother chances after Beverly continuously promises she'll do a better job. The film often jumps to 2011, when JD is much older and just finished law school and looking for work. He gets a call from his older sister that his mom is in trouble. So flashbacks to this childhood reappear and frankly, are more prominent in the film than the scenes in 2011. I definitely enjoy the scenes where Beverly Amy Adams is causing a lot of riff with her kids. And besides the drug use, one might say her character has bipolar disorder. There are several scenes where she acts out and then she's happy-go-lucky the next. The scenes when Mamma interact with JD are great too. We are told that Beverly didn't fall far from the tree. And that Mamaw had her issues, but as she got older, she's learned to be better. She's kind of the hillbilly version of Mr. Miyagi. She has this certain intensity and strict dragon lady side to her. The childhood scenes are definitely the better part of the film. Than the scenes where everyone's all grown up. I also do think that if the film paid more attention to those scenes, the film would be more emotionally impactful. I get the story was trying to show us that despite his terrible upbringing, he was able to go further in life when one would think, but it was kind of boring and useless to focus as much as they did on it. There was, there was an interaction at the end between JD and Beverly that involved some scuffling, but it wasn't nearly as impactful as the scenes in 1997. I will be recommending Hillbilly Elegy. Everyone's performance I found was really awesome and really engaging. It just needed a bit more focus in the past scenes to make it more unforgettable. But at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if Amy Adams or even Glenn Close got recognized near award season. Thanks for watching. You agree or disagree? Put a comment down below me.